Uh, thank you, Deacon. Uh, as Deacon mentioned, my name is Richard Allen. I have been a parishioner here at Mission San Jose for almost uh, 24 years, uh, ever since graduating from college. Uh, however, I've actually been going to a St. Joseph parish my entire life. Uh, I was baptized and received my sacraments at St. Joseph in Panol. And it was there that my parents instilled in me and my siblings um, a love for service and kind of and doing what is right. Uh, my family would always attend the 7.30 a.m. Mass there, and it was without fail. If you weren't going to the hospital, then you were going to Mass that morning. Uh, my dad would serve as an extraordinary minister of Holy Communion, while my mom, even though she, she's not Catholic, uh, would go and prepare the coffee in the hall so that everyone could enjoy it, uh, fellowship after Mass. Uh, my siblings and I were altar servers for several years, and then even during college, I worked there as a part-time sacristan. Um, but during my confirmation year, uh, which is my junior year in high school, my sister asked me to attend a youth ministry meeting uh, to welcome our new youth minister who came in halfway through the year. And within less than two months, I was on a, a leadership retreat over a weekend. And that you know, began my involvement with youth ministry, which has now lasted over a quarter century. Um, I've served so many teens and uh, you know, it's, it's always great to see them when, when they have that little aha moment where it stops being a, something that they have to do and, and becomes something that they want to do. Um, and, but then sometimes you'll see that the afterwards is that they go off to college and, and beyond, and you, a lot of times you never know whether the effort that you put in had any effect. And you kind of know that going in, it's kind of a, um, you put in the work, and then you just trust God. And so when I see graduates of our program years later, um, it's, it's, especially those who've been positively influenced and whatnot, uh, it's very wonderful. And I've seen a few of those examples here um, very recently. Uh, youth ministry and confirmation prep have given me so many blessings and memories. Um, and also just working with other volunteers, and um, it's just created many wonderful friendships and memories. Now, several times on our weekend confirmation retreats, um, that first evening I would give a talk, uh, part of which involved encouraging them to put away the worries and concerns they have at home for the weekend and just be present in the moment. In 2010, when I gave that talk, I shared with them the concern that I was putting away for the weekend that I had just been laid off from work, and when I left work that day, it was the last time I would, you know, I was leaving for the last time ever. But I promised them that I would not, they wouldn't see me be gloomy or, or woe is me or anything like that, but would instead see me be present and give them all of my best. And looking back on that, I realized just how blessed I was to have been on that retreat that weekend, to be around people who cared, and to know that I still had a purpose in life even though I was out of a job at that moment. And, and, and also just so that I wasn't home moping for it. And so, you know, youth ministry has given me so much, but I've been involved with many other ministries, uh, mainly a lot of times in liturgical ministry, as you can see right here. Um, I've served in just about every type of liturgical ministry uh, that does not require holy orders. So I've been an altar server, an MC, a reader, an usher, an extraordinary minister of Holy Communion, sacristan, I've been part of the live stream and tech crew, and even in the past couple years, I've been involved with the music ministry. And I've met so many wonderful people that for a person who's actually kind of an introvert, I might never have met otherwise. And you know, I love liturgy, and I always want to help it be done well. And that, you know, sometimes that means that I am see at midnight mass on, East, on Christmas or Easter vigil, and then I turn around and serve or sing at the early morning mass the next morning. Um, and there are times when the planning and the behind the scenes actions are not the most fun, um, but I know that ultimately the idea is to give glory to God and help in the sanctification of people. 
And in those tougher times, I'm a reminder of this quote that I was once heard, and I, I'm not sure where it comes from, but it's, uh, work for the Lord, the pay is not much, but there's a great retirement plan. Thank you.